Hello and welcome to all you Aquarians. Welcome for your monthly forecast for June 2014. Now last month was all about Venus. This month is all about Mercury. What is happening? There is a Mercury retrograde. And I know that a lot of people think, oh, this is not good. It is how you look on it, but it is there for a reason. It's, sim it's simply not there to annoy you, but it is true that Mercury retrogrades um, uh, forces us to take time and to rethink certain areas of our life. And for you, it will be the fifth house and the sixth house. So let's talk about that, why this is happening. At the very beginning of the month, you will have a little sneak preview what the purpose is of this retrograde. Because Mercury will be at the first degrees of Cancer. It will go one degree, two degree, three degrees of Cancer in your sixth house. And then it, goes, it stops and it goes backwards, back into Gemini again, which is your fifth house. Now, this um, Mercury in Cancer, this sneak preview will show itself more during the next month in July. But the bottom line is that the growth is, um, or, or the uh, meaning for this standing still with the thoughts has to do with six house issues, which is work and which is health on the biggest levels. So whatever is happening, it has to do to improve your day-to-day -day routine, to make it more efficient, to make it more work, easier and simpler and more efficient, but also maybe work to improve your work, to make it more enjoyable, to um, make it more organized. So these are the goals that you might see a little bit of a sneak preview around the beginning of the month. As from the 8th of the month, Mercury goes backwards and so it goes into that fifth house of yours for approximately the whole month. Now, Mercury is very happy in Gemini. So that's already um, uh, a testimony that good rewards can be um, given to you by working in that fifth house. Now, what is a fifth house? It's a very fun house. It's, it's not one of the, the most difficult houses on the country. It's one of the lightest houses. It's the house of the heart. It's the house of opening the heart. It's the house of showing who you are, your unique selfness. It's the house of Leo, actually, which is your opposite sign. But it is certainly the house of expressing yourself. And this is what this um, Mercury retrograde is all about. Um, it demands to stand still, to take a time and pause and reflect upon those areas of your life. Maybe you, um, it's, the fifth house is not only the house of creativity and of self-expression, it's also the house of children. So maybe you want to uh, change your communication with your children. You want to improve that. And you are standing still and thinking about how you can do that. So maybe for some Aquarians, it's that. For other Aquarians, it could simply mean that they are thinking about a project or a business of themselves and how to launch that. And it takes time. Therefore, the Mercury retrogrades, we feel it as frustrated if we want to be too much of um, wanting to go forward. Well, I think most Aquarians do have that patience and understand that they have to rethink things a couple of times before they really know what, what it's all about. And on another general level, it could have to do with how you express yourself, how you show your own uniqueness to other people without relying too much on other people or on um, other people saying to us, yes, you're doing fine. But coming from within and understanding that how you express yourself is just a part of who you are. That is a very general level, of course. And the last level is uh, romance. So it can mean if you are, perhaps you are, prob um, there are some Aquarius that are single and it is now maybe a time that they're going to meet something, someone, something, sorry, someone hopefully. And um, they are reflecting upon that. So a good time would, a good thing would be not going too fast with a new romance, just stand still reflect uh, and th th take it slow and then you will probably gain momentum then. Um, so I think I've 
probably said the most important things about the fifth house, but it's certainly not a difficult thing, I think. But it is taking the time. And for those Aquarians who have maybe a bit of a lot of fire in their chart, it can be a bit frustrating. Um, so, uh, but whatever it is, it will have also its consequences for um, maybe uh, doing something about your health in the future and to improve it, but also to improve your work environment and your day-to-day -day routine. Even if you don't work, your day-to-day um, routines that you do to make that more happy and, and efficient. Now that point, the three degrees of cancer, that point where Mercury goes backwards again is a very significant point because at the end of um, the month there is a new moon which means a new beginning uh, on the tw around the 27th of the month on that particular point. That means new beginnings when it comes to sixth house, work, etc. And that new beginnings can also mean that there are new shifts when it considers work or when it considers your health, that you want to improve it. There is also a fixed star on three degrees of cancer, which is called propus. And propus is all about ideas, ideas that are reasonable and ideas that are acceptable. And isn't that nice? that if we do have ideas, that we are able to put them into practice. So whatever it is that you want to change, considering those areas of life, there is good chances that you will be able to do that. So thank you very much for listening. If you want a reading, a personal reading, please do get in touch. All the links are here below. Wishing you Aquarians a great month. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.